The mercy of God carries you. The grace of God covers you. The blood of Jesus cleanses you. I decree and I declare that you are great, mighty, and blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Abba Father, we worship you. O oh Lord Jesus, eternal Son of the living God, you're the light of the world, the radiance of the Father's glory. In you, we see the fullness of grace and truth, the embodiment of divine love. And we have come to say thank you, Abba Father, the word that became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. We have seen your glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father full of grace and truth. After the other of John 1, 14, you who were in the beginning with God chose to dwell amongst us, clothed in human frailty, to reveal the depths of God's compassion and the boundlessness of his forgiveness. Our Savior, you are the good shepherd, ever watchful over your flock, never leaving us nor forsaking us, guiding us through the valley of the, the shadow of death, leading us to the pastures of eternal life. You said in your word, in John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Oh, Jesus, your voice, tender, strong, calling us to repentance, offering rest to our souls, removing every form of weariness from our lives, giving us peace that surpasses all understanding. As you said in Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28, come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And you are faithful to your word. In your boundless love, you bore our sins and infirmities. And during the agony of the, the cross to bring the joy of resurrection, he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. For by his wounds, <laughs> we have been healed. Hallelujah. Your wounds, O oh Lord, our healing. Your death, O oh Lord, is our hope. First Corinthians 15, 57 says, Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through your precious blood, we are redeemed. And through your great, glorious triumph, we are made new creations in, in the sight of the Almighty. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Your word says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, the old has gone, the new is here. You brought us the new. Prince of peace, we thank you. And you all things hold together. Colossians 1.17 says he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. You are the vine. We are your branches. Sustained by you. Sustained by your life-giving presence. Oh, for we have chosen to remain in you, Abba Father. Apart from you, Lord, we can do nothing. Your words are spirit, they are life, a lamp to our feet, a light to our path. Thank you, Lord. Christ, our cornerstone, rock on which we stand. Your word says in Ephesians 2 verses 19 to 20. <laughs> Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household built 
on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. You, Lord, are our chief cornerstone. Your love surpasses knowledge. Your power transcends our understanding. Your wisdom is unsearchable. Oh, Lord, we thank you. The Alpha, the Omega, beginning and the end, who was and is and is to come. You're the Almighty. With hearts of gratitude, Abba, we bow before your majesty today, offering our lives as a living sacrifice, holy, pleasing to you. Take all that we are. Take all that we will ever be. Thank you, Jesus. We have come to bless you, the eternal son of the living God. Thank you. How faithful are you, O God. How wonderful are your works. How beautiful are your ways. Thank you, O Father. Our good God, mighty in all things. Great in every way. Gracious God. You are the dawn of the new creation. Our promise of eternal life. Hey, your word says in Revelation 22, 16, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. For in you, Abba, we are more than conquerors. For you have overcome the world. And though we may have trouble, but we take heart. For you are Christ. After the order of John 16 to 3, I have overcome the world. And your spirit dwells within us, empowering us for righteousness and holiness. We bow before you, our King. Great are you. Great are your works. Great are your ways. Great are your precepts. Great, great, great. What a great God you are, Abba Father. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for always watching us. Thank you for making us the apple of your eyes. We love you, Jesus. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name we have praised. Amen.